Welcome back, this video will show you how to set up EXA headsets on a Windows 10 PC. Firstly, you'll need to choose the connection type you would like. You can either use the USB cable allowing for 7.1 surround sound, or the 3.5mm cable. If you happen to choose the 3.5mm connection, you need to check whether your PC has an all-in-one mic and headphone connector, or separate. If you have just one port for both headphones and a microphone, then you can just connect the standard cable out of the box. If you have separate ports for headphones and microphones, then you will need to use the splitter, which is also found in the box. In both scenarios, the green end of the cable connects to the port on the headset with the lock and headset icons. We'll first ensure that the headphones are working and set up, and then we'll test and set up the microphone. You can test both your headphones and microphone from the sound settings. To get here, right click on the sound icon in the taskbar, and then select Open Sound Settings. You can also get here from the main settings page by going to System and then Sound. If you're playing sound, you should see the blue bar moving with the volume. If that's the case, then your headphones are working normally. If you don't hear any noise but the bar is moving, then another device may be playing the sound, so ensure that you have chosen the correct output device at the top of this page. If you can't see your device, we'll now make sure that it is connected and enabled in the sound control panel. You can get here from the sound settings page, it's a blue option on the right side. In here, make sure you are in the playback tab and find the device you want to set up. If it says disabled, right click on it and select enable. You can also set it as the default device if you wish. If you don't see your device here, right click an option and select show disabled devices and show disconnected devices. If you still don't see it, ensure that it is connected correctly and perhaps try another port on your PC. If your headphones are working, then there are a few default settings you can change to your preference. Staying in the sound control panel, double click on your device to open the headphone properties. The enhancements tab should include a few things you can change, for example, you may be able to add a bass boost. The options in here will probably differ depending on the headset or headphones you have. In the advanced tab, you can change the sound quality and test it with the play button. There may also be other tabs to edit some of the settings, again depending on your headset. We'll now look at setting up the microphone. The process will be similar to the method of setting up the headphones, so first we'll test it if you haven't already. To test it, go to the sound settings. You can get here by right clicking the sound icon in the taskbar and then choosing open sound settings. Firstly, check that the correct microphone is selected in the input section. Also, ensure that your microphone is unmuted. Speak and you should see the bar move with the noise you make. If that happens, then the microphone is working. If not, we need to check that it is enabled and connected, just like we did with the headphones. To do this, click on sound control panel again, but this time click on the recording tab. Find your microphone from this list and right click on it and select enable and set it as the default if you want to. If you don't see it on the list, make sure that the disabled and disconnected devices are showing by right clicking and checking the options. If you still don't see your microphone, check that you are using the right port and the connections aren't broken. If it is working and depending on the microphone, there may be some settings that we can change. Double click on your microphone and go to the Levels tab first to change the sensitivity of the microphone if you want to. You can then change the quality too in the Advanced tab. Remember to click OK or Apply to save your changes. And that's how to set up Exa Gaming headsets in Windows 10. I hope you found the video helpful. Thanks for watching.